My name is Seth Chitwood, and I'm an actor. I love acting. It's who I am. I just wake up every morning. Drive to school. Do my homework. And run off to rehearsal. But something that is also a part of me is my fear of what sometimes lurks in the corners of my kitchen. Or crosses the kitchen counters finding crumbs to eat. These things are known as spiders. I'm walking in rhythm, singing my song, thinking about my baby, trying to get home. Walking in rhythm, moving in sound. Roger Williams Park Zoo. The place that I would face my fear. Well, if only I had confidence. I have confidence in sunshine. I have confidence in rain. I have confidence that spring will come again. Besides which you see, I have confidence in me. Strength doesn't lie in numbers. Strength doesn't lie in wealth. Strength lies in nights of peaceful slumbers. When you wake up... A red knee tarantula, 19 year old female. This spider would help get over my fear of spiders by holding it. Uh, but no tarantulas ever killed a human being. Um, some venoms are, some venoms hurt, they're not, not, no more than a bee sting. Some are like, I didn't even feel it. And some will put you in the hospital, but you won't die, it just makes you real sick. And she's one of the in betweeners. If you get, she's like getting stung by a bee if you get bit by her. Um, down here, you can see these are book lungs. There's a slit right down here in her opistema. People call this her butt. It's not really her fanny. This is her stomach is way out here. And her, her butt's way down by this part here. This spot here and this spot here, there's slits. Those are called book lungs. That's where she breathes from. So she doesn't breathe from her head, as people think she breathes from little slits down in here. It's all up here. <laughs> there's nothing she's going to do that's going to really... I mean, if you got bit by a dog, would that bother you or bit by this? And I'll tell you, the dog's going to give you more mechanical damage than a spider will. But because we all think spy puppies and dogs are cute and cuddly and they're man's best friend, we have a mental picture of that compared to this. And yet that'll do less damage to you than um, a dog. One of my favorite stories used to be what my students would come in and say, oh, daddy long legs are the most poisonous spiders on the planet. They just don't have teeth to bite you, but they make a toxin or... <laughs> I don't know whoever came up with this, but it's the biggest line of crap I've ever heard of in my entire life. Uh, they're not really truly spiders. They don't make a toxin at all. If they did and didn't use it, they'd be a, a waste of you know, animal kingdom life, and they're not. Fear is a, an emotion, but it has a physiological response. So fear is um, an emotion that triggers a lot of feelings in the body and a lot of responses in the body. Many people are afraid of the dentist before they ever even walk in there because all the stimuli that go around them and all the things that they've seen have turned them away. One, 
We all love our mouths, especially little kids, because it's your oral portion of your face. It's that part where your tongue feels your world. And, you know, we use that. We use that a lot. Um, and then you hear from your siblings or from other people, you're going to the dentist today? Oh, okay. You know, and all those little parts that you pick up give you this interpretation that leads to this fear that isn't so valid. I think when I was six or seven years old, I began to have a fear of spiders. It first started when I got sick one morning. When I wouldn't feel well in the morning, my mom would take my temperature. And if it was high, I would stay home from school and lie on my couch, all tucked into my sleeping bag. That's when my dad would ask, why don't we watch a sci-fi film? And because I was bored, I would agree. And that's when we watched The Incredible Shrinking Man. And ever since I watched that movie, ugh. Watching the scene in which the man shrinks to a spider's size and has to fend for its life, I started my fear of spiders. And after that, it just kept getting worse. Most people that are afraid of spiders did not have a bad experience with spiders. Um, they're just given a bad name. Um. When I was a little girl, uh, I was rocking in a rocking chair on my front porch. I was about eight years old, and some, there was a bee's nest under the porch, and about eight bees came up and stung me. And so for years, I was afraid of bees. And then um, I worked with a therapist who did some, who did some neuro-linguistic uh, strategies with me and since that intervention I have not had my fear of bees anymore.